Hello Shed family. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend and enjoying your Sunday. For some of you I'm sure this is the last day before you get back to the weekly grind called work. Anyways I thought I would go over something today um, that's important. Um, it has to do with safety as well as longevity which are two things that we take seriously at Just Wooden Steel. Uh, first and foremost, I know that I always start the videos with Hello Shed Family, but for those of you who don't know, we actually, about 50% of our business is in steel buildings. Um, I don't do too many videos on the steel buildings, um, but I did want to address some issues today, and that would be snow load capacity. So, the issue that we have been running into left and right is improper snow load capacity and that is very important as you know we have a lot in Gaylord Michigan right next to Jay's Sporting Goods and we have put up probably a couple hundred buildings up north and the issue that we have seen with customers is improper snow load capacity from other builders I thought I would show you today the two main sizes of steel that most companies use. The first one you have here is 12 gauge steel. So if you're not familiar with a steel building, you will have a bar all the way across the bottom. You'll have your legs and your legs will go up and tie into your trusses. So your legs and your trusses are all one piece. They're generally spaced anywhere from 40 inches to as far as eight feet apart. Depending who you go with, we do 40 inches um, for structural support. And this is your 14 gauge. So this is, um, they do make 16 and 18 as well. I don't see them very common and they would not be anything you wanted to use. These are the two gauges we offer, 14 and 12. I'll kind of put them up here so you can see them side by side. Now, if you were to build your entire building out of 12 gauge, your, your snow load capacity, um, pounds per square foot would be 27. That would be completely stocked, 40 inches apart. If you were to go with the 14 gauge, here it would only be 19. And that's, like I said, and that's with the trusses being close together. So, Herein lies the problem. Every building that Just Wooden Steel builds is engineered to your zip code. So say you're in Traverse City where you have a 70 pounds per square foot requirement. There are people up there, up north, putting up 19 pounds per square foot and 27 pound per square foot buildings in a 70 pound per square foot zip code. This is not something the customer should have to know. That is why you are hiring an authorized dealer, a contractor, a company to come out and do the building because you're unfamiliar with that stuff. Sometimes it gets caught by municipalities, and zoning, building departments, but a lot of times it doesn't. When you get your engineered prints, it slips under the radar. And we can all guess the problems you're gonna incur by having a 19 or 27 pound per square foot building up north anywhere past mount pleasant the pounds per square foot required by the state of michigan building code starts to climb so what we wanted to discuss today is we just got back from a quote where we sold a lady a building she had had two other people come out and give her a quote <clears throat> now she had us come out because we are the only one out of the people she contacted that also did wood buildings she was looking for a steel barn and a wood structure. So she brought us out. Now, we quoted her over the phone, I believe 31,000 and some change. Her other two quotes were 27,000 and 29,000. So the only reason she had us come out is because we also did wood structures. Upon arriving and seeing what she was quoted and having her contact the other uh, building companies this uh, snow load requirement in her area was 50 PSF one building was 23 and one was 32 and 
when she contacted them while we were there, they didn't even know. They said they had to get back with her. Well, when they did get back with her, um, those were the numbers they gave her. Ours was three PSF above the requirements. So sometimes when you're looking at solely price, there is always a reason. Are you getting 12 gauge? Are you getting 14 gauge? How far apart are your legs and trusses? Is your siding horizontal or is it vertical? Um, what is your snow load capacity? What kind of warranty are you getting? How is the building anchored? There are so many factors that go into the price of a steel building. I stress, if you don't do business with us, that's fine with me, but please make sure you know what you're buying. Please take the time to sit down or talk with your builder and get all the information you need because it is happening more often than not on the steel buildings that the PSF is nowhere, nowhere near where it needs to be. So at the end of the day, um, price should not be your only deciding factor. If you care about the quality and longevity of your building, it's better to pay a little more up front and get what you need and what's going to last you. And to be honest, even that lower price building would be the same price as what you would pay if they were to build it correctly. So they're actually not even offering you a discount, they're just offering you a less uh, structurally sound building. So anyways, we just got back from that quote and we've been running into this a lot, especially north of Mount Pleasant, um, where snow load capacity is just thrown out the window and I thought I would just take a second to make the video because like I said, we, we both went to this quote. Um, we did sell her a building and a wood building, but we just got back and it's really alarming um, that she was about to pull the trigger on this and probably end up with a building that was uh, less than half of what it needed to be for snow load capacity. Granted, knock on wood, we have not had a bad winter since 2014. But when, when she comes back around, she's going to come back around. So guys, please, <clears throat> regardless of where you're getting the building from or who's building it for you, just please check some of the specs on it. A lot of the wood buildings, you're fine. But the steel buildings, a lot of times you're just dealing with an authorized representative that sells for the company. They have no training in building. They don't know the codes. They don't know what they're doing. They're just trying to make a little commission. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But at the end of the day, they need to make sure they're offering you what is gonna be safe for your area. So please guys, if you're getting a steel building, just look into it, make sure it's correct. And uh, that's it. So as always, I appreciate you, guys, appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm sorry for rambling on in this video, probably nothing exciting to see. We're in a 10 by 20 side lofted barn, but uh, we're mowing outside, so it was a little loud. So I thought I would just come out here and go over some snow load capacity. So please guys, just uh, make sure you get the proper building regardless of who builds it. And like I said, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I appreciate you tuning in. And guys, we will catch you on the next one. Bye.